All right, now we want to look at long run industry supply when we have all the firms in the industry producing in one diagram. Uh, truthfully, I'm going to represent at most 10 firms in this one diagram so you can see them. You want to think of hundreds or maybe even thousands of firms in a competitive market, but then each one will look negligible relative to the market. And they wouldn't show up in the diagram. So we have several, but not a zillion. Right now, I think we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what happens here, I draw these vertical lines at the efficient scale of the firm and I treat that as a new axis and then I draw the next firm's average cost curve starting um, from that axis and keep on going that way. If I increase the number of firms, let's do that, so I'm going to go from five to six, you added a firm there, here's from six to seven, you add another firm there. Um, so 434 is seven times the efficient scale of 62, and you add additional firms moving to the right. And so what's happening here is each firm is producing at this minimum average cost, and this blue line is supposed to represent the long run supply curve. You might wonder what about these gaps in between, but if that's negligible relative to the size of the market, we just ignore it to tell you the truth. Um, and that's pretty much the story for the industry, which is a constant cost industry. Let me now look at the picture for a increasing cost industry, which looks like this. And let's see what happens. I'm going to lower the number of firms. And here's the story. As we get entry and we have more firms in the industry, so now we have six and we have seven. They're all each producing at minimum average cost, but minimum average cost is rising as the number of firms in the industry increases. And why is that happening? Because this industry must be a large demander of some inputs, and as a consequence, the input price is going up as the industry gets bigger. The input price going up is raising minimum average cost. It might actually affect the scale of the firms as well. I'm not having it in this graph affect the scale, only the minimum average cost. So in an increase in cost industry, supply rises with um, price. Um, excuse me. Um, the supply price rises with industry output because minimum average cost is rising as inputs are getting more expensive. Uh, let's do the last possibility. I'm going to bring this down to five again. And now, instead of going from increasing cost, let's look at a decreasing cost industry, which is also possible. This means actually that some factors of production actually get cheaper as the industry gets bigger, or if you will, it enables a more efficient type of input to be produced at large scale, which wasn't available at small scale. So in fact, minimum average cost can fall with industry output. And that's what's happening here. And as a consequence, um, as the industry gets bigger, the supply price falls. So you can have decreasing cost, you can have constant cost where the supply price doesn't vary with output, and you can have increasing cost where the supply price increases with output. And as again, as you get more output, the explanation for output is entry. New firms each producing at minimum average cost.